Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Bowman University Chrome 4 box random letter break number 42 the last third of the case the next 4 box break is from a fresh case now big thanks to look at this, Nathan who picked up all the spots thank you sir, good luck all the spots here in break 42 here on Tuesday the 20th so thanks to him, you'll get all the cards. Saves me, uh, saves me a randomizer, which I also like. So thank you for that. And good luck. So hopefully we can find some monsters in here. NBA draft coming up on uh, this week. This Thursday. Now, I think it's unless the San Antonio Spurs shock the world, right? Victor Wenbanyama should be the number one overall pick by the San Antonio Spurs. 7'4, 209 pounds, according to Yahoo Sports. They're saying when Benyama is the best prospect to hit the NBA since LeBron James and had an impressive showing in his last season in France, playing all the way up to June 15th. The center led the Mets 92 to their uh, first finals appearance where they were swept by Monaco, though, 3 nothing. When Benyama led all players during the regular season in points, 21.6 points a game, rebounds, 10.4, and blocks. 3.1, named the league's MVP, becoming the youngest player in league history to earn the top honor. Reports surfaced that Wenbanyama wouldn't play at the Summer League, but after the loss to Monaco, uh, Chime Moneki asked if he was playing Wenbanyama, answered a little bit. What he brings to the Spurs is elite rim protection with his 8-foot wingspan. Wow. Now he continually uh, impacts the game from different spots on the court. Tim Duncan is on that coaching staff. will be mentoring Wen Benyama when he gets to San Antonio. This is, is this supposed to be a deep draft? That I don't know. But I know people are high on Scoot Henderson, which Yahoo Sports has projected at number two. 6'2", 196. Many believe Brandon Miller is the better fit for the Hornets, but with what Scoot Henderson projects as an NBA player, it's hard to pass him up at number two. I think the Hornets brought both Brandon Miller and Scoot Henderson into, into the town. However, Henderson already has a leg up on almost all the players in the draft. He, the 6'2 guard has been playing against NBA talent with NBA rules and spacing the last two seasons in the G League. I actually kind of like that too. I like that he's already kind of embedded into sort of that NBA world. All right, we got Caleb Love, 32 out of 199. All of these, of course, for Nathan, who bought all the spots in this break. So yeah, I mean, we're hoping that by the time Thursday rolls around that we'll see a lot of these players be drafted hopefully increasing their value. Some of these players are entering their, entering another year of college. Here's Kiki Rice, UCLA. It's Kiki Rice. You know, hopefully all of these players become all-stars, superstars. That's Kiki Rice to 499. <clears throat> Jordan Walsh. JJ Starling to 399. So the purple shimmers are not numbered, but the regular purple ones are numbered. Some of these players may be going back for another year of school, I think, but you should see most of these players get drafted at some point.
And there's our second auto, Seth Trimble. There's um, a couple Caitlin Clarks. She'll definitely get drafted. Is she doing one more year at school? All right. Good start. <clears throat> Excuse me. With the first box. Here's the second one. So now, if uh, if Scoot Henderson goes two, Yahoo has projected Brandon Miller from Alabama to go to Portland with the third pick. It's kind of a guard forward, 6'9", 205 pounds. According to Yahoo, Miller had a strong workout in Portland and looked comfortable during drills. If the Hornets take Henderson at two, Miller can add some length and size along the perimeter with Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons. Miller is one of the best three-point shooting wings in college basketball. Was named to the SEC's freshman player uh, year of the year and player of the year, becoming the first player to win both awards since Anthony Davis did it with Kentucky in 2012. Although there are rumors that Damian Lillard may be moved, traded. I think they have that Shaden Sharp kid, right, from last year who actually played well maybe maybe they'll they can build around them perhaps get some assets back from you know from Damian Lillard but that'd be tough if you're a fan that'd be a tough trade to swallow <clears throat> um, they have uh, guard Amen Thompson 67202 going to Houston they got the new. They got a new coach, Ime Udoka. Udoka. They could trade down if they want to, but they got Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, Jabari Smith Jr. If they had like another top five pick, you know, that's a nice little core right there. Kind of lure some free agents here and there. Ime is a good coach. You know, could work out nicely. At number five, Detroit, they have the Pistons taking guard Cam Whitmore. We've seen a lot of Cam Whitmore cards here. He's 6'8", 235 out of Villanova. Rumblings that Whitmore is slipping on draft boards, but he looked incredible in a pre-draft workout with Carmelo in New York uh, last, late last week. Strong guard, explosive first step off the wing. Plugged into any spot along the perimeter. And here's DJ Horn. There's there's kind of your first five right there. What about any of these guys? Seth Trimble not on the Yahoo mock draft list. What about DJ Horn? No, Horn not on this list either. Hmm. He's 19 out of 99, though. Maybe these guys are going back to school for another year. That's possible. I know this guy's supposed to be pretty good. I think he's going back to Purdue for one more year. Nick Smith Jr. Jalen Cook, the purple shimmers that are not numbered. There's Devin Carter, 66 out of 199. All these going to Nathan, of course. There's Chris Livingston. And we got Kalel Ware for uh, the Oregon player. All these for Nathan. Is he on this list? Doesn't look like it. Maybe he's another another guy maybe going back to school for another year. Maybe 
they won't be on draft board. I don't know. I don't follow college as closely as I would like. And we've got Amari Bailey, 251 out of 299. Caitlin Clark. Julian Phillips. All right, Nathan, two more boxes to go. Good luck. Now this this is something that I would uh, that I don't that I rarely wish for, but I hope we can see a redemption in here. That would be a good sign. Just skimming through this, uh, skimming through some of the other picks that they that Yahoo has projected. We got Usar Thompson. Jerace Walker, I feel like we see a lot in this set. Anthony Black as well. Taylor Hendricks. You know, Derek Lively. Grady Dick. Kind of going down the uh, the board here. Kobe Bufkin. Jalen Hushafino we've seen in this set. Wenbanyama's teammate, Bilal Kulabali. I don't think he's in this set, but another name to look out for. Um, what else? Uh, I don't think we've seen Kaysen Wallace. I haven't seen his name in here. Keontae George, Jordan Hawkins, Leonard Miller, Nick Smith Jr., uh, Jet Howard. They've got projected going 21st to the Nets. I feel like we've seen some Jet Howard cards in here. Uh, Jet Howard, who is the youngest son of Juwan Howard. Some some people, I've seen some mock drafts where Jet Howard maybe maybe the Lakers. I'd like to see that. Jaime Hawkes, UCLA's Jaime Hawkes, Brooklyn Nets, 22nd pick. Noah Clowney, Chris Murray, I think we've seen in this set. Brandon uh, uh, Podzmeski, Maxwell Lewis, Ben Shepard, Ryan Rupert, Julian Phillips, we've seen. In this set, Tariq Whitehead, Sessenbaugh. Those are some some of the names on the uh, the draft board. We got Mark Armstrong, ninety-seven out of ninety-nine. R.J. Davis. And Mark Mitchell, Ray Wave autograph. Twenty-five out of one ninety-nine. There's Mark Mitchell again, Chris Livingston. There's Jet Howard, just talking about him. 190 out of 399. Here is Grady Dick. And a Zach Eady. a little bit of a 
a printing issue right there, unfortunately, but I've heard his name being bandied about. 009 out of 149, he's supposed to be pretty good. There's Judah Mintz. There's Jet Howard again, those refractors not numbered. All right, final box coming up. Thanks, Nathan. Good luck. Dodgers at Angels. In the background, just about to first pitch about to happen. That's a 17 home run this season. It's having a nice whole season. 264, 17 homers, 43 RBIs. I think he went to driveline in the off season, which is known for improving like pitchers and their spin rates and all that sort of stuff, but starting to work with hitters more often now as well. They were saying in the offseason that one thing that Mookie had to, I mean, he's a pretty good player. He's a pretty good ball player. But they were like, they saw, they trained with him, and they kind of analyzed his, his swing and all this sort of stuff. And I think one of the bigger recommendations was, hey, um, you know, bulk up just a little bit. I think he added like solid like 15 pounds or something like that of muscle. Ooh, a redemption. Could it be? It's Katie Johnson, 005 out of 299. Remember, Nathan bought all the spots. We're going to create a little bit of a, a suspenseful moment for him here. There's Anthony Black. Ninety two out of ninety nine. Oh, sorry, we got Demar Langford, blue ray wave to one ninety nine. Mikey Williams, here's Caitlin Clark. We got Mattis Bazellis. Jordan Walsh. All right. See what we got here. Nathan, good luck. Thanks for grabbing all the spots in this break. Congratulations. You are due to receive a Bowman Chrome Prospects autograph of mm. 
Not V. Still nice though. Scoot Henderson was looking for Victor Wenbanyama, but Scoot Henderson looking to be the second or third pick out in the draft. So after Victor Wenbanyama, so that's still strong. Wish it was the Victor, but the Scoot, not a bad consolation prize. Here are your other hits here, Nathan. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everyone else, for watching. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.